Hey, this is Flo and welcome you to my take on the Code with Chris app challenge. So um, this first video will be an introduction to the topic. Um, I will talk to you about what the challenge is, how we're going to go about it and how the next videos will um, go out or what the next videos will cover. So let's get right into it. The Code with Chris app challenge is a new monthly ch challenge by the uh, YouTube uh, channel Code with Chris. Um, and in the first challenge, which is for March 2021, the target is to create a weather app using an API endpoint. So I have linked this website in the description and I have also linked um, Chris's original video talking about this challenge in the description so you can check those out. And uh, I highly encourage you to also follow this challenge and try to implement your own app. So let's go over the details here. Uh, the challenge will run until April 14th. So pretty much two weeks for, now, for, for me now. Um, if you take part in this challenge, you will get a forum badge on codewithchris.com or codecrew.codewithchris.com. Uh, this badge here to be exact. Um, it goes on to link a couple of tutorials. Um, but the interesting thing for us is the app requirements. So there are a couple um, tiers of requirements, basic, bonus and further challenges. Let's start with the basic requirements. Uh, the app should connect to a weather API. Um, they give an example here of Open Weather Map, which is actually also the API that we're going to use in this series. And the app should show current temperature, current feel like temperature, and general weather conditions, for example, cloudy for a specific city or location. Users should be able to switch units from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And the app should have an hourly temperature display for the next 12 hours. Okay, so these all sound relatively easy. Let's go on to the bonus specifications. It should have a list of cities locations to choose from and switch between. And the app should update the weather data based on the location. And the further challenges would be obtain the user's default city or location with uh, call location. Show appropriate weather icons based on the temperature and general weather conditions. And also have a weekly forecast. They have also already made a, a previous solution which you can take a look at and they will uh, post their uh, solution code at the end of the challenge on April 15th. So one day after the challenge ended. Okay, so um, now that you know about the basics of this challenge, let's get into what we're going to use to do it. So first of all, as I already mentioned, we're going to use the one call API from Open Weather Map. If we scroll Actually, we don't even have to scroll. Um, it's an API where you put in some latitude and longitude co coordinates and you get back the, cur back, back the current weather, a minute forecast for one hour, an hourly forecast for 48 hours, so that's a lot actually, um, daily forecast for seven days, uh, weather alerts and uh, historical weather data for the previous five days. Um, this also shows how to use the API. But let's skip this. Um, here is an example of an API response. So it gives back the coordinates. Um, it gives a current uh, weather data dictionary with the sunrise timestamp, the sunset timestamp, temperature, feel like temperature, and so on. A lot of data actually. Um, even the wind speed. Then there's the minutely. Um, forecast and then there's also the hourly forecast and the daily forecast and at the end there will be the weather alerts but I don't think that we will actually take these and use them so so much for the API next up I have actually um, searched a bit and found this um, this app design for a weather app and we will use this as an inspiration and try to rebuild it it's available free um, on uplabs.com. You can check it out. I've also linked this website in the description. Um, so yeah, we will pretty much try to replicate this design and fill it with the data from the API. And lastly, I've also already searched for some weather icons that we can use. So um, we will use this weather icon set by Bora Dan from dribble.com. Um, it's also free to use. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the first episode. 
Now you know the basics of the challenge and how I will go about solving it. And in the next episode, I will start to work on the UI based on this design mockup. So see you in the next one.